Hello guys, so welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, welcome back to the channel and today welcome back to some more Realm Royale. Today we're going to be using the Hunter class because we're going to be using the weapon, the Arbalist, which is basically a bow, kind of like a bow, like a crossbow that I don't really tend to use as much, but I wanted to use it today to see if we can get a Crown Royale with it. I see says, what this particular weapon, you've got to be very precisely accurate with this weapon. You've got to be able to get your shots on points. And as long as your shots are on points, you're going to be able to absolutely destroy people. So I thought to myself, today's the day we're going to challenge ourselves to be able to use this. Obviously, the reason why I'm using the Hunter class for this is because obviously with my abilities and stuff that I've selected, I'm able to get this weapon a guaranteed if I forge it straight away in the forge. Because obviously with each class you can select certain weapon, like a certain weapon from that particular class range. And obviously when you can make it so it's your guaranteed weapon that you get from the forge. So I've selected the Arbalest just in case I can't find it within chests before I get the chance to forge. Just then so I'm guaranteed the weapon either way, you know what I mean? But other than that... Asitas, I just hope that you're all having a fantastic day. I just want to say thank you as well for all the continued support on both of the channels, by the way. I know I've been really busy with a lot of content lately. And Asitas have been recording a lot of stuff behind the scenes lately, just mainly for my second channel with, like, future Let's Plays and stuff. But I've got more Round Royale content coming. I've, got, I've been planning some new ideas and stuff that I want to bring into videos and stuff. And obviously I've been really busy with Call of Duty Mobile as well, because obviously at the time of recording this video, they've implemented a new pistol into the game, which you'll be seeing the nuke with real soon. And stuff like that, but either way, I just hope that you're all having a great day and that you're all safe and let me know what you guys have been up to today. If you've been doing anything good, let me know. I need to move, I need to move, I need to move. No, 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 come on. It's a bit risky that was, but obviously as well with uh, one of my abilities I've got on, when I use the dodge roll or the withdraw, I get like a four second shield. So I see this for four seconds and just shield from any incoming attacks, which is pretty useful to be honest, especially if you just want to quickly grab something from a chest and quickly dip out there quickly. As long as I'm using one of them abilities, it activates the shield, which is pretty useful. Helps as well when it comes to getting like a little quick getaway as well. But at the moment, I'm just mainly trying to prioritize, trying to get up plenty of shards. You know what I mean, because your boy needs some shards, especially when it comes to... Getting my particular weapon. The Arbalist. I think I pronounced that right. But let me know down below the comment section. Do you tend to use the Arbalist weapon much within Realm Royale? If you do, let me know what your overall thoughts and opinions are on the particular weapon. Like, It's a weapon I come across every now and then, but if I see something that I'm a little bit more comfortable with, for example, if I had to choose between the crossbow or the arbalist i would choose the crossbow because i'm more comfortable with that particular weapon i know how to use it um a lot more effectively or if i had to choose between the stone staff and the arbalist i'd probably use the stone staff but if say for example i had the choice between the arbalist and a pistol i probably would choose the arbalist you know what i mean just because i feel like in my personal opinion it would be my go-to weapon out there too but it's just one of their weapons which I don't really tend to use much, but I thought to myself, Do you know what, I need to drop a Crown Royale with this. I need to, I need to get a win with it. You know what I mean? Especially with all these one weapon only challenge videos I'm doing at the moment on the channel. I, I like I'm liking it. I feel like it's a good little thing for the channel. And once I've done all the weapons, I will be trying other like other little challenges. Maybe we could do things like uh, blast arrow only or I don't know, a uh, one chest only challenge, you know what I mean? Where I drop in the map and I can only choose one chest. And whatever's in that chest is the only things I can use for the whole game. Yeah, I mean, things like that. Maybe we can try some wacky challenges and try to get some wins, but... We'll try them for, like, for future dates, you know what I mean? Because I'm always trying to try my best to try and play some more ideas and more cool video ideas for Realm Royale and everything. So, just so that I can always give you the content that you guys want to see. Also, as well, I've been playing some more stuff for Fortnite Save the World as well. Because I want to get back into the swing of things and give you more content on that. And I've been playing a lot of, um, in my free time, which you will see at future dates with, on the Elias videos, I've been playing a lot of Black Ops Cold War Zombies as well, so I'm thinking of like, shaking things up a little bit, bring some zombies. And then on my second channel, when it comes to Call of Duty related content, I will do the old Call of Duty games, like the campaign playthroughs, maybe on that channel. So games like Call of Duty Ghosts or Modern Warfare 2 and stuff. 
I probably will play them campaigns and stuff over on that channel. You know what I mean, just so then it's not cluttering all up like on both channels. Now, speaking of my second channel, obviously I've got Crash Bandicoot 4. Um, is a playthrough that I'm doing currently on that channel as well. And I'm going to be bringing Resident Evil 2 to the channel as well, the Resident Evil 2 remake. So I want to carry on with the Resident Evil games. So obviously, you'll be seeing videos on that soon. The fog sets in. Come on, come on. Stuck boys, he's stuck. Might as well take advantage of this, get some easy shards from it. And obviously, so what items the uh, new goblin drops for us. Right, so we dropped a room there. We're definitely gonna take that, and then the rest of it. Well, we can just disenchant that and use it for shards. So we've got 203 shards now. Obviously, we could use that really to obviously upgrade our arbalest. So it's a legendary form. We could do that, or we could use it to get some more armor and health potions and stuff. Hang on, hang on. Whoa, careful. Come on, boys, we got this. Nice. There we go, nicely done. See, I'm not really too fussed about how many kills I get either. I just want to try and win the game. So I want to have a little bit of fun. Just, you know, just do a little bit of exploring. See what cool stuff we can get. And just just have a casual, just lay back game. That's what I want to have today. Maybe in the future as well, I could probably do you, like, do long Realm Royale videos. Maybe I could do back-to-back -back games or something if you would like to see that on the channel. Or maybe if you would like to. If enough of you guys out there would like to, like this as a video idea, maybe I can get some of you guys on board in the future and we can all like join into one little private lobby on Realm Royale and see if we can have like a, a really cool custom game. You know what I mean? Or if any of you guys out there would like to join me in some Realm Royale videos in the future, like just join in and be in the gameplays and stuff, then by all means. If you would like that, then let me know down below in the comment section. Maybe when I get a bit more free time, we can I can bring it on board if it's something we'd like to see. We could do it like round with subscribers if it's something you would like to see. Right. Let's go in. Uh, so it would have picked up the heal ability then, but to be honest, I'd rather wait for a better one. We'll see if we can find a better like variant of the heal ability. If I can't, then I'll obviously just have to like hope that I can craft one later on or something from the forge. time a little bit. There we go. That's what we want. The lightning obelisk. Lightning bow, my friends. Let's do this. It'd be cool as well, like, if they ever did do an update for this game where they could implement unique ways to, like, customize your weapons. So, obviously, when you got things like the fire crossbow... <coughs> If you could change that, where you could get like a lightning crossbow, for example, and just be able to just switch between things, so you could like customize it so you can have your own unique variant of that weapon. So for this, maybe I wanted, for example, if there was an option in the game, maybe on the forge, where I could change it from a lightning arbalist to a fire one. You know what I mean? And things like that. I feel like it, it wouldn't be a massive change to the game, but I feel like it would be a pretty cool one, especially because if you prefer fire over lightning or if you prefer lightning over fire and obviously with the weapons that you get from the, like from the drops that literally come from the sky and stuff they end up being marked on the map 
it would be cool if like weapons like the LMG had like a common and obviously an epic version and stuff like that that you can find within chests. And things like the gatekeeper as well, the same thing for that as well. But I feel like it would be really useful. It would help out a lot when it comes to videos because if I want to do them sort of videos like using the LMG and stuff, I've just got to get lucky and get them from a drop. You know what I mean? That's the only downside to it. But I will be doing them sort of videos in the future and hoping that luck is on my side so then I can get the weapons when I need them. But I do think they need to bring in some more classes as well. Like, bring, bring back the Engineer. And then for its particular class-based weapons, they could put the LMG, the Gatekeeper, and stuff like that. They could put particular weapons, like maybe the Plasma Launcher. And just weapons like that on there as their main weapons. Obviously, make all them particular weapons as weapons you can get different varieties of in the game. That you can find from chests. And obviously... You know, I feel like it would be a good move for Realm. I really do. And if they really wanted to take, like, take things to a whole new level, either give us a new map or update this map and give us loads of new points of interest. Change the themes of some areas or something. Maybe put it in nighttime or something, man. Nighttime locations or something. I think that would be really, really, really cool. What do you guys think? You could have a new season, for example. Can you imagine if like, they made a nighttime version on the map? They could make it Realm Goes Dark or something. Or darkness has faded into the realm or something like that. I think that would be really cool. They have like, some really cool skins. Can you imagine like skeleton skins and ghost pirate skins? And... I think it would be cool, man. I think it would be really, really, really cool. Well, the one thing I do want as well is more skins for the game. Obviously, I did the video a little while ago on the Toxic skin for the Assassin's class, but there's been no new skins since, as far as I'm aware of, that have been added to the game. And I'm not sure if there's any more skins coming. I'm hoping there is. But I've heard nothing about no new skins coming, so if you guys know anything about any new skins coming, then let me know down below in the comment section. And obviously, if any new skins do come to the game and I'm not aware of it, Always let me know because I will go out the way, I'll get the skin and I'll make a gameplay on it. But other than that, I just hope that there's new ones coming soon. I do hope. Even if it's just different colour changing like versions of existing skins in the game. I just want some new skins, man. I need something fresh for this game. Uh, I've got the drop here. We've got boys. Uh, got LMG in there. But the thing is, we don't need it though. It's still a problem. I really need to find some enemies. <sighs> Come on. Where are they? Oh, someone's here, someone's here. I can hear them. Oh, is that, is that, is that, is that? Is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's one thing I have done as well. I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but I've kind of altered my sensitivity in game as well. Like because I've always left it on default. Like normally with certain games, I don't really mess with the options as much. Sometimes if I need to put subtitles on a wheel, but nine times out of ten, I don't really tend to mess with settings unless, of course, I really need to. But I thought to myself, like before recording this video. I thought that maybe I'll have a look at the settings and see what stuff we can change. See if it'll help out a lot. And I changed my sensitivity so it's a little bit more quicker when I'm moving the analogs and stuff. And I feel like it's really helped out a lot. I feel like I'm turning quicker. I feel like I'm more effective with my shots. And it feels a little bit more better. You know what I mean? Only a little bit. Uh, right. Oh, good boys, it's real good. I could do with trying to find another rune. You know what I mean? I can then max out my runes and have six. Let's 
gonna be people around here somewhere, surely. There always is, you know what I mean? It's just where. Well, if they're gonna be coming towards me, they're gonna be coming into this area. This is like the main center of the circle. So if anyone's around, they're gonna be around here somewhere. Oh, that sounds close, that sounds close. Yeah, man. Nice. <laughs> Talking about boys. There's one thing I have noticed as well. I don't know if you guys have experienced this as well. Um, obviously, I was I was told in one of the comment section on one of my previous videos I did on Realm about making sure that I'm connected to NA and obviously make sure crossplay is on. I always make sure crossplay is on, but I've always connected to the Europe servers. Obviously, with me being from the UK, um, but I've noticed that recently. I don't know if it's just my PlayStation in general or or what, but I cannot find no games on the Europe like servers at all. Like I cannot get a game at all. Like you just won't load into a game. It just keeps me on the menu. So I've had to switch to NA servers, which I don't know if that's the best choice or not. When we be from the UK and connected to the NA, but let me know down below the comment section. Like what service do you connect to? Do you connect to the North America ones? Damn, I can't even hit this thing. Really bad potato wing. Come on, hit it! I want fried chicken. Come on. Damn it, man. Your boy's got potato aim. Well, I'm going to try and get across there quickly so we can try and get a cheeky, easy little kill off that person. Let's just stand here. It's clueless, man. There we go. Nicely done. Two more players left. Let's get back in the circle. The last thing we want is being out in the fog. Come on, where the hell is everyone? One person left. Where are they? Oh, okay. <laughs> Must have died off in the fog or something. Well, there we go, my friends. Hopefully, you will enjoy today's video. If you did, give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you new. Would really, really appreciate it. Let me know if you want to see more on Round Royale here on the channel. I've got plenty more videos. I've still got planned that will be coming over the next upcoming days. I'm still going to be planning a lot more on my days off because at the time of recording this video, I've got work four days in a row, and then I've got five days off work. So during that time frame of that five days off, I'm going to be planning a lot more videos, and I'm going to be recording a lot more content for Realm, maybe for the next upcoming days, and possibly next week as well. So make sure you look out for more videos on this real soon. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you again next time.